the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of me. Hey guys, people. So, you know, I came across something very interesting that I wanted to share. Let me start off by saying the first verse that I want to share with you guys, which is 2 Corinthians 13, verse 1. This is the third time I am coming to you in the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. So there you go. That's the Bible telling us how to know if something is real or fake. Okay. Now I have recently been getting into a lot of arguments with people about planets because planets are not real. Let's explore this together. Okay guys, so you see how in 2 Kings 23 verse 5, it says planets. And I look, that's the only place in the whole Bible that it says planets. And we already went over the verse where it says in the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. So I was like, wow, that's proof right there that planets don't exist. And so then, you know, when I got into an argument with somebody, they said, well, it's supposed to be constellations. And I'm like, okay, let me look up constellations. Now, this is Isaiah 13, verse 10. And right there, you see right there, it says constellations. But that's the only place in the whole book that says constellations. So I'm like, wait, neither one is real? So no, I got to study, okay? Now, you guys, I have a basura. And I often go back and compare the scripture from KJV to the basura. Because a lot of things are added and taken out. And I noticed that in both verses in the Basura, it said constellations. So I was like, these MFers, made up fibers, <laughs> took the word constellations and one of the scriptures and changed it to planets. So you can you can't prove neither one. But that means Planets aren't real. 